Welcome back everybody. First off, I have to say to all the new subscribers, thanks for joining along. I also gotta thank Squatch253 for giving me a shout out and leading everybody to this project, so thank you there. We have a forklift here. So today, we're gonna get this engine out. We gotta try and clear this yoke here, which I did take that top and bottom bolt out. We still have a couple bolts in the bell housing here. And we have to clear that mainspring. So let's get the forklift in position, get some chains run, and get this out of here. So before I put the chains on, I kind of want to make sure, you know, if I need to tilt the engine up or, and or down, depending on, you know, how we have to clear that mainspring, I want to make sure that this is going to clear basically essentially this shaft here and your throwout bearing there, or release bearing. Um, Kind of get a pry bar in here, see if any of this stuff wants to move now that it is unhooked. Well, it's good it moved at least. See if we can get it a little farther out because it'd be nice to come straight off of that mainspring. I want to come straight up, so if I can get this yoke somewhere in this vicinity clear this shaft should be plenty good come straight up off that main leaf there well it's not really what i had in mind at rotating there but that will work I had more planned on it moving on this ball here and actually the whole works moving back because it's connected over to this shaft here which is connected down there but the whole works pivoted that will work i can come straight up now we're off the dowels so all it's holding this is these half inch bolts here come up off that mainspring so let's get some chains on now that I know I got that out of the way. We'll pick this up. The sling is in place. Um, I did go for some different lifting eyes here just to get these hooks through. In the front there you can see I got a shackle on those lifting eyes to fit those hooks. I believe we are ready to see if it will lift. Uh, one more thing to mention here. I'm going to try and get it leveled out as I lift it and then I do have these two bolts back in the bell housing yet that once it's kind of leveled out we'll pull in the bolts and up we go. Well, with it partially lifted up, we did clear that yoke. We are still coming off that spring, but for the most part, we're off from it. Let's keep going up. And just like that, we have an engine on the floor. And a crawler that keeps coming apart. One thing I noticed in a previous video is that plate in there. 
it looks like it's a homemade deal. If you look here, that cut does not look like a factory piece. I don't know why they would have those in there. But there's a bolt on each side for your spring here, or yeah, for the spring. But this one has a cover on it, and that side does not. More good news. Free moving parts. That'll make life a lot easier getting this apart. I think the next thing we're going to do is just try to get this mainspring out of here. I tried going side to side with it, but with these rollers here, it just will not fit. And these pins do not drive out of this roller. We're going to throw a little heat to that. Get a punch in there and drive it out. Okay, with just a little bit of heat, I was able to get that pin to walk inside that collar. Just punched it this way, just enough to squeeze it out of here. It got tight again. I have a feeling we'll probably end up either soaking that in some uh, evapo rust, or possibly even drilling that whole pin out. But now that it's out, we can pull the main spring out. We'll have to get this one out at some point too. This one, the entire works is stuck. The roller doesn't even spin freely. Not a big deal. Let's go ahead and pull this spring. Well guys, I'm out of time for tonight. So I think I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Stick around. We got to tear into that yet. We have to tear into the rear end of this yet. We have a long way to go. If you like what you see, go ahead and throw a like, subscribe, stay tuned for more. See you on the next one.